you may have got this email from LastPass saying that they're making some changes to LastPass free. Basically, from the 16th of March 2021, they're going to limit you on what devices you can use LastPass free on. You've obviously got a choice to pay for an upgraded subscription, which means you can carry on as usual and get some extra benefits from your subscription. Or if you keep watching this video, I'll show you a good alternative, which basically does exactly the same as LastPass free. And the best thing of all, it is still free at the moment. But even if you do decide to subscribe to their premium features, it's still a lot cheaper than LastPass. So what changes are happening on the 16th of March? Well, when you log in on or after the 16th of March 2021, depending on what device you log in with is very important because that will be the type of device that you'll be able to continue to use LastPass free with. Now, they're defining the devices in two categories. So computers or mobile devices. So a computer de is defined as a desktop PC or a laptop. A mobile device is defined as a mobile phone, a tablet or a smartwatch. So if on or after the 16th of March 2021, the first time you log in, you log in from a computer, i.e. a desktop computer or a laptop, you will only be allowed to use LastPass free on a computer or laptop. You won't be able to use it on your smartphone, your tablet or your smartwatch. If, however, you log in to LastPass for the very first time on or after the 16th of March 21 using your phone, tablet or smartwatch, then you will only be able to use LastPass on your phone, tablet or smartwatch. You can use it on all three, but you won't be able to use it on your desktop computer or your laptop. So it is very important on the 16th of March or after the 16th of March that you log in using LastPass using whatever device you want to continue using it on or set of devices you want to continue using it on. Or you could go for this alternative which is Bitwarden and you can get it from bitwarden.com and let's just have a look at the plans and pricing first of all. So you can get a basic free account for nothing. So they believe that everyone should have access to password security tools. The core features of Bitwarden are 100% free. And at the moment, they're basically saying it's going to be free forever. And if you wanted to go for a premium account, it's still only $1 a month or $10 a year which is great compared to LastPass, what they're charging at the moment. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with LastPass. LastPass has been absolutely great. And if you're a loyal customer and you want to carry on using it, then please feel free to pay the, uh, the amount that they're asking for. I think it's something like $27 on a special price at the moment. But if you're a bit of a cheapskate like me, then Bitwarden is great for you. The product itself has end-to-end -end encryption. It allows cross-platform applications, so you can use it on virtually every device. Let's just have a look, see how many devices we can use this on. So you can use it on Windows, Mac OS, Linux. You can also use it as an add-on in Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Vivaldi, Opera, Brave, Edge, and the Tor browser. You can also download it on your iPhone, iPad, or on your Android based phone or tablet, or you can just use it on the web. So as I say, Bitwarden uses AES 256 bit encryption, sorted hashing, and PBKD F2 SHA 256 encryption. So that basically means it's highly secure. Only you have access to your information. Not even the team at Bitwarden can read your data even if they wanted to, it's that secure. You can also set up two-factor authentication in it as well, which is a bonus because you couldn't do that in LastPass unless you paid for it. But you might be thinking to yourself, oh, I can't be bothered to bring all my passwords across over from LastPass. That would take me ages to type them all in again. Fear not, if you go into the help center and type in the search LastPass and then click on the little magnifying glass there, you've got a, uh, an instruction guide here on how to import data from LastPass. 
and it's incredibly easy. So it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can export your data from LastPass and then import it into Bitwarden. And it, I've just tried it. It took me all of about five minutes to do the whole lot. So I've just removed LastPass from all our devices and replaced it with Bitwarden. And like I say, the, uh, the, the password import took me less than five minutes. The whole shebang to put it on both my computers, my phone and my tablet took me 10 to perhaps 15 minutes all in all. And uh, first impressions, yeah, looks really good. Looks exactly like LastPass. So there you go. If you want a recommendation of an alternative to LastPass, Bitwarden is uh, a good bet. I hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.